All right, let's look at um, the rest of the mole ratio guided notes. Some of you look truly confused today whenever you were asked to complete this section here with the second um, question mark on the, the guided notes. Uh, this is all review. This is information that we learned in the moles chapter. And I think you would remember them from, I believe it was chapter three. Uh, if you want to go back and look, you can. So you have these notes. This is not new information. You've already learned this. We learned that one mole is equal to Avogadro's number. And some of you remember Avogadro's number, some of you don't, but it is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Now, particles can be several different thing, things. They can be atoms, they can be ions, they can be molecules, and the last one we didn't use very much, but they can be formula units. So we can substitute in here for particles, we can substitute in atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units. And um, it's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is equal to one mole. There were three things that mole could be. This was one of them. The other thing that a mole could be is 22.4 liters at STP. STP is just a condition of a specific temperature and pressure. And for what we're going to be using it, um, 22.4 mole, or I'm sorry, 22.4 liters is one mole. Now, the molar mass, and that's going to be the number of grams equaling one mole of a particular substance, is found by adding up the information from the formula. And you may have remembered this. Um, we did water, and water is H2O, and so there's two H's and one O. You look up the mass on the periodic table, and you add them up together, and that would tell me that I have 18 grams of water is equal to one mole of water. So that is a brief review of the units of mole.